Good morning to the international audience and practitioners that are listening across the world. Um, terrorism, as we all know, is developing very fast, and uh, the West Africa region is not left out. Indeed, the West Africa region is experiencing a number of terrorist attacks of late, especially uh, emanating from the Sahel region. Now, it's important for us that understanding current emerging security threats confronting Africa is very relevant. The key thing is that without security, no nation within the African continent can develop. And not only Africa, but the whole of the world. Of the world. And without development, you cannot provide for the living conditions of the people. So having a secure environment is very key. And it's a basic understanding before anybody can go ahead of development. Otherwise, you might not be able to develop. And if you don't develop, the living conditions of the, your people will not uh, uh, be, be, be actually catered for. Therefore, terrorism is one key threat that exists in the African continent and expanding very fast across the continent or the region. Terrorists in the sub-region move across borders and the regions. In the case of um, terrorists crossing over the border from Mali to Burkina Faso is a clear example in this regard. And also uh, the countries surrounding Mali initially had crossed uh, had terrorists crossing the borders to attack or to establish bases in Mali. Now, it's important to understand that whilst you are dealing with the terrorists, especially in relation to cross-border security and management strategies, there's a need for all countries to develop frameworks that would be able to confront this challenge without a framework and a, followed by an action plan against terrorist activities we might not be able to achieve what we should achieve in the near future. Therefore, there, was a, there is a need for regional, some regional organizations to collectively collaborate to confront the threat of terrorism, especially because it has a lot of importance so far as cross-border activities is concerned. Now, the key advantage of such a union are to reduce the bureaucratic bottlenecks and facilitate communication and collaboration among other states if we have such a union uh, in existence. It will also provide implementers of the idea to set their own agenda to focus on the current threats and therefore determine the priorities that must be set for such a, a, a threat, a, such a threat, especially uh, in um, repelling it. Now, building of trust and confidence, one advantage among the countries that are concerned, avoiding suspicion of each other, enhancing information and international uh, uh, intelligence sharing and foster cooperation 